this video uh, is an extension for the desirable function approach part where in the earlier video we have discussed about the desirability function approach formulation and we are going to estimate the composite desirability also that is totally a multi response optimization we have done it already now here the challenge is how we are going to predict the process parameters see prediction of process parameters is one of the most important thing because it requires maybe for example in the same example which we have consider um, let me take this one uh, pulse on time pulse off time current and uh, wire speed i have taken in this particular range maybe uh, somewhere tomorrow uh, i may not uh, sure that uh, uh, 14 pulse on time and 5 pulse off time uh, 5 uh, current and uh, wire speed as uh, 1200 may get best uh, uh, optimal parameter i don't know so such a kind of things we required we required some kind of an empirical model so that will be discussed in the next slide so before going to that one we need why the prediction is important prediction is important to forecast the models so it is basically establishing the relationship between the input parameters and output parameters it is a normal uh, uh, i can say it, it's a study of a relationship between the process parameters now coming to the empirical formula how we are going to generate an empirical model so because basically in in most of the optimization problems uh, we require some kind of a mathematical uh, model we, we can see some kind of a mathematical model so these are going to be termed it as a empirical models so the empirical models can be uh, taken like this for example here here we are having y is equal to some constant plus c1 x1 means uh, first constant into x1 input parameter plus c2 into x2 plus c x1 into x2 that is interreactions which we have discussed in the earlier uh, places uh, x1 x3 x1 square uh, like interreaction square so like that we can able to see a case of empirical models generation so how such a kind of empirical models are going to be developed and comparing to this desirability function approach how we are trying to apply these two things i will try to make uh, i will try to have a Uh, deep understanding uh, for this particular problem let me take me the same problem again here okay uh, here if you try to open this general paper they have given one case here regression model fit values and comparison with the experimental results so sometimes we have to do because how our empirical model is best so we have to compare that one with the experimental to the regression if experimental to the regression if it is less than 10 percentage the error if it is less than 10 percentage then the prediction is good if it is less than 5% it is too good like that we can justify it here i cannot i i will do some of the values and minitab is having a feature how we can able to generate it automatically as well as i will show it how we can able to generate it manually also okay so first me let me go for generation of uh, this uh, empirical model first then i will go to it so for that one what i will do is i will copy this mrr and pc mrr and pc values mrr and pc values can be copied like this just copying and i am going to paste it here after copying i will perform the basic operations that is stat doe taguchi analyze taguchi design i will take the mrr graphs uh, i will just keep it as uh, because right now i am not explaining the graph because i already know it so i am just unticking it analysis and here i will take signal to noise ratio options here i have to check it as larger the better because mrr we have to get larger means only i will keep uh, if we require we can keep a s by n ratios also okay for now you keep it this one aside then perform stat doe taguchi analyze taguchi design for pc responses you have to do and again here in this option we have to select it as a smaller the better okay and then okay so we have got the means now for getting a model so we basically we have to go for stat regression 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 model because it's a regression fit they are asking to uh, just to regression model okay that's why i am selected as a regression next in the responses go to mrr first continuous predictors will be the input parameters that is a pulse on time pulse off time 
கரண்ட் அண்ட் ஒயர் ஸ்பீட் நெக்ஸ்ட் இந்த மாடல் சி திஸ் திஸ் இயர் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஃபோர் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் வி கேன் கோ ஃபார் இன்டர் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ வி கேன் கோ ஃபார் லைக் ஏ இன்டூ பி பி இன்டூ சி சி இன்டூ டி ஆர் ஏ ஸ்கொயர் பி ஸ்கொயர் சி ஸ்கொயர் வி டோன்ட் நோ பட் விச் இன்டர் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் சிக்னிஃபிகண்ட் அண்ட் இன்சிக்னிஃபிகண்ட் வி ஹேவ் டு ஐடென்டிஃபை ஸோ ஃபார் தட் ஒன் தெர் இஸ் நோ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் திங் வாட் வி ஹேவ் டு டூ இஸ் if if we required such a kind of a non linear equation you if i generate directly see if i generate directly i will go for option uh, model i have taken simple a b parameters only in this term and options i will select uh, no weights are nothing uh, because the, the the default values i will left over coding is also then graphs i will take four in one graph uh, results uh, these things will be plotted no, no problem Uh, and storage wise uh, i required uh, residuals okay residuals uh, that is uh, uh, I, w- i will say what is this residuals and fits uh, okay uh, residuals and fits i will tick it uh, fits are nothing but uh, whatever the equation it is generating these values will take into that particular fit and it will generate an equation so i have taken the storage fits and then i will plus okay so now whatever the equation we are generating here is a linear equation okay like constant into a x uh, a b c d it's a linear equation and here most important thing is we have to check coefficient of determination r square coefficient of determination so this r square value it should be more than 95% okay so more than 95% means our confidence level we are fixing it as 95% as discussed we have fixing it to 95% and here we can check the p value also almost all all factors are significant okay all factors are less than 0.05 so all factors are significant okay that is okay so this is a case where we are generating the linear equation and what about this fits means if i try to take this equation okay for example uh, what i will do is i will copy this copy down this equation copy down this equation where i have to copy go to excel file i will copy because excel is uh, excel i will copy down this equation and what i will do is i will write this equation manually uh, stating like uh, is equal to 0.00604 plus 0.00404 into i will take uh, this cell that cell is a okay multiplied by a minus 0.00658 into next cell is b plus 0.1061 0.01600 0.01061 into c plus 0.00352 into d and then press enter okay yes for now you accept it because here the values uh, we did not enter actually so what i will do is i will try to enter the values now here i will take it is a b c d okay i will try to enter the values now okay so a what i will take is i will take these values 13350 yeah, sorry not this one uh, yeah this one only 134 these values i will try to make a transpose here paste special take a transpose paste it see i am getting the value as 1.27446 for mrr okay so this is the value which i am getting a prediction here okay maybe i think it has been coded uh, let me change to 111111 yes it has been coded so that's the reason uh, it has been coded okay it's a coded value are you getting coded means uh, here i have taken uh, the value as 111111 uh, no so that 111 has been replaced 
actually i need to get uh, uncoded value so uncoded value regression i have to generate so for that one i i, I can take these coefficients here and then i can generate an uh, uncoded equation Co coded coded means which we we will uh, have an understanding uncoded means which we did not uh, code it okay so depending upon that one we can do it so that is the case with the uh, fits and residuals means this value this uh, this original value like 0. Point, uh, what is the value here we have 0 0.0137 0 0.0137 and this value i will i will take minus this minus this i'll get uh, some value 0 0.039 that is the residual here okay so this is the meaning for fits and residuals next let me go into non linear form of generation so non linear form of generation how i will do is regression regression fit the regression model okay or here i can go like this or i can go with anova also so anova linear model fit linear model that is linear so now i will go for regression regression model linear regression model and here i will choose the same things and model here what i will do is i will go for internal actions i will select all the terms and i will go for add it will add the two terms a into b a into c a into d b into c b into d b c into d next i will add uh, co terms to that order like a square b square a into a b into b c into c d into d like this okay and then i will press okay and in the coding what i will do is i will give uncoded uh, okay there is no option to select here no problem okay so basically it won't it, it will be generated but this this there there might be kind of some kind of categorical uh, explanations wait i will show so the following terms cannot be uh, estimated and these can be removed so what i will do is i have to go to the equation and i have to remove this c into d term i i have to do like this okay so based upon this one uh, already authors has done this particular paper what i am doing is i am trying to take only uh, the uh, the things which they have fitted into that particular model so for that one a b c d is there uh, then uh, a square is there pulse of time square is there then current square is there this d is not there in their in their in their fit then uh, pulse on time uh, that is uh, a into a into d is there a into d is there so i will remove a into b a into c a into d is there next uh, pulse of time that is b into uh, b into c is there next uh, ah, remaining things and all we can remove it we can remove because for, as, as per that equation what they have got that's one i am trying to look over here so i will go for press ok then i will get a fit you can observe the fit and differences between here you can see there is a lot of variation is it or not but here there is a very small variation so that indicates that this this fit is very best the probability fit is very best and this is the equation which i am generating from this particular equation so here i am getting the r square also 97% and adjusted r square also 93 because whatever the r square it should be more than 95% and here we can able to see uh, what what is our uh, table is going to be talking about so and if i have selected the fits also uh, fits also i have selected yes i have selected the fits also uh, let me go to that particular general paper and i will open that particular fit okay so here what i will do is i will copy this fits fit 3 is our major part because uh, the things which is at the last fit 3 i'll copy it I'll copy it in a separate window. I'll make it paste here. Okay, I will mention it as MRR fit. MRR, which is used for fit. So this has been generated from the ANOVA table. So now this has been generated from the uh, means this has been calculated from uh, e experimented. It has been experimented value. It is from the fit we have which we are uh, taken from the uh, minitab software now what they will observe is here you can observe mrr experimental and regression and 
similarly for power consumption also we have to do the same procedure but it should be lower the better we have to select there that's all and randomly they will take some experiment here they have considered 11 experiments that is 1341 1341 is which experiment first experiment they have taken okay and they will compare the values as well as they will try to check the percentage error also so we, we almost got similar values you can able to observe um, see 0 0.228 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.30 so almost all same values we have got it here and coming to the equation generation so this is the equation which they have taken in their uh, general paper so whether we have got the same equation here or not we will cross verify it i think it will be a coded equation it is a it is uncoded equation okay they did not uh, coded it they have uncoded it so like that also we can able to compare uh, these two things and then we can develop our uh, models so this is our uh, uh, regression model generation similarly we can do the same thing for uh, the remaining things also 